Hello everyone. In this video, we'll use our 3D model to show how users can buy CoinWeb issued stablecoins on two live dApps called OnRamp and BlockFault. How these transactions are embedded into Elrond as their chosen underlying L1 blockchain. Also, we will show how the CWeb token facilitates the movements and processing of these transactions. To get started, a customer installs the OnRamp or BlockFault app and signs up by completing KYC. Once approved, they log into their mobile wallet where they can use various payment methods including credit cards to buy a Stability or a Starpoint, which are the stable tokens available in these wallets. In this example, let's say a customer buys 50 Stability tokens on OnRamp for 55 US dollars. Once completed, OnRamp exchanges the 55 US dollars to CWeb on optimal exchanges. In this example, it receives 2,200 CWeb into its CoinWeb wallet. The OnRamp app now creates a CoinWeb transaction from this wallet and funds it with the 2200 CWeb. Then, it adds subtransactions to tell CoinWeb what to do with the money. First, it deducts any CWeb required to pay for the transaction's processing fees. Then, exchange the remaining balance to Stability in OnRamp's liquidity pool. And finally, send the exchange Stability tokens to the customer's Stability wallet. Then, it will ask the CoinWeb broadcaster how much it costs to execute this transaction. The broadcaster first adds the cost for the e-gold required to store this transaction into the Elrond chain. Then, it negotiates and adds its own fee to pay for executing the transaction. And finally, it adds the upper bound estimates for the CoinWeb processing fee for each item. Once agreed, the broadcaster simulates the transaction to ensure that OnRamp owns sufficient CWeb and that it will get paid when the transaction is executed. If successful, the transaction along with additional processing data regarding L2 activity are packaged into an Elrond transaction and broadcasted to the Elrond chain. The CoinWeb Broadcaster advances the eGold for OnRamp's transaction from its Elrond wallet, which always holds sufficient eGold to process any Elrond transaction. Once the transaction is verified by Elrond's nodes, it's immutably stored into the Elrond chain and appears in the next block represented by the blue transaction. The blue transaction will be recognized by the CoinWeb system, which is constantly monitoring the Elrond chain. CoinWeb processor nodes now open the Elrond transaction and execute the CoinWeb transaction that's inside. First, one CWeb is deducted from the transaction and sent to the broadcaster to pay for its fee, and another five CWeb to pay for the eGold required for Elrond processing. Each transaction deducts a 0.1 CWeb processing fee from the transaction and sends it to the CoinWeb protocol. The transaction converts the remaining available balance to stability in OnRamp's liquidity pool, according to the pool's pricing function. Another 0.1 processing fee is deducted to execute this transaction. Finally, the exchange stability tokens are sent from OnRamp's liquidity pool to the customer's stability wallet, and the remaining 0.1 CWeb is deducted for processing the final transaction. The transaction's balance is now zero, and the transaction has been executed successfully. The balances for all entities can be seen from the CoinWeb Nodes database, represented by the Fuse data screen up here. OnRamp can now access this information and allow the customer to trade their stability tokens against other crypto assets or purchase other digital esports assets. Businesses that receive payments in stability can either exchange them against CWeb in OnRamp's liquidity pool or against other tokens traded in the CoinWeb ecosystem via the broadcaster. Stability holders aren't required to own CWeb to exchange stability into other currencies, the same way they would require ETH to make similar transactions on Ethereum. That's because the broadcaster can advance gas fees necessary for any transaction and be guaranteed repayment when the transaction is executed. If the user trades or uses their stability tokens, the data is also packaged into an Elrond transaction, stored into the Elrond chain and processed by CoinWeb's nodes, which updates the data and makes it available to the DAP. The CWeb token is necessary to facilitate the various processes involved in these transactions and allows consumers to create cross-chain transactions without having to own various currencies for gas fees. Benefits of the CoinWeb platform includes that its stablecoins are secured by strong layer 1 blockchains and that it can offer much lower transaction fees since it can store its transactions cheaply and pay less for execution in layer 2, which is protected by the trust-minimized RDoC protocol. CoinWeb also allows projects deployed on legacy chains to easily move to new and more advanced chains. 
You can view the substantial existing transactions generated from these two wallets in the CoinWeb Explorer on CoinWeb.io. And many more businesses are currently building on the ecosystem, which will increase the number of transactions even further.